Alright, welcome everyone. This is Zero. Uh, it's been a while since I did a commentary, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with this uh, Star Nemesis Evelyn uh, fan concept that I did. Uh, like I said, um, even though I have left Riot, um, I have had fun memories there and been a pleasure working on the game. But um, yeah, after leaving, I, I told you know, I, I, I've i always been a fan and I, I will continue to be a fan. And uh, yeah, I decided to have this, um, yeah, concept uh, art challenge on the Discord. So feel free to uh, join the Discord channel. And uh, it's mostly patron members that have that kind of access there. But yeah, lots of fun stuff happening. So yeah. Um, Anyways, yeah, let's start off with the Star Nemesis or Star Guardian, um, Evelyn. So, yeah, I, I took a lot of inspiration from this uh, Nemesis Morgana. And um, I'll just kind of go over and talk about the good stuff, uh, which is... Okay. Uh, sure which marker color to choose but yeah i notice a lot of this kind of the bat shape bat wing kind of shape uh you know curves and points right and that's kind of the shape language that i wanted to bring over and uh, make sure there's kind of that aggressiveness and how it ends in a point um and I see a lot of the diamond kind of shape language here, which I'm pretty familiar with. I use this kind of shape language for a lot of my stuff, a lot of my personal work, and even some um, riot uh, designs that I contributed in. And I notice there is kind of like a different, like strips of colors, like band um, of color, I think going on here pink blue and this neon uh green and i thought that was pretty interesting and within um this diamond type of design motif and accessory there's instead of like uh, a usual gem or um yeah some kind of glowing uh one monochromatic glowing element it's it's a multicolor so that was pretty cool i think it's kind of uh borrowing that cosmic type of element and applying it there and another notable thing that keeps this uh this skin line sub skin line within the star guardian um makes a niche and memorable is like tapering off and like a group like a type of gradient you see here. It's kind of a multicolor. Usually when you do prismatic and iridescent color uh, to make it look natural and look good, uh, you just kind of follow, um, you know, this type of, you just go through this color wheel and go through the spectrum in an order and you can kind of make it look really good like adjacent to each other like this right but what's interesting here is it doesn't follow that but still manages to look uh, interesting and look um, look beautiful so that's something I I try to keep mindful of and and try to borrow and implement into the Evel Evelyn design another interesting is like especially the head area, you want to make sure the focal point, the absolute focal point, primary one is the head. And usually it exchanges between, depending on the champion, right? Between the two, the head and the power source. Uh, in this case, I think her power source or something that makes her uh, iconic is like her wings or um, her dress that kind of moves right turns into wings so uh in this case i this yeah i think this head area 
and this cowl or um, this headpiece, like a collar piece that kind of frames around her head, uh, I think is pretty powerful. Works pretty well. Um, also, the white hair seemed like an iconic. Even though Morgana is probably the only first member of the Nemesis, the humanoid member, aside from Fiddlestick. So I, I decided maybe, yeah, second humanoid female uh, Nemesis member, uh, maybe it can be consistent and keep the white hair. Of course it can, you know, you can break that rule, but usually I default to consistency, so uh, cohesiveness and... Yeah, maybe if I do a third character, like a fan fan concept of a third female or male character, maybe I can break that rule. Um, but again, yeah, uh, framing around her with the uh, with this interesting uh, color scheme here, and following a yeah, similar way. Even though I think this time it's not the uh, the neon green; it's actually like orange yellow place uh, around the head which is a interesting choice it's not consistent but um nevertheless i think it is uh, pretty powerful and underside of the hair being colored is also something that i thought wasn't really neat so i wanted to bring that over and uh, apply it to evelyn as a second humanoid uh, star nemesis character also the the makeup I, th I think it's pretty interesting. One thing that I broke the rule here and that's decided to stray off is like uh, the dark part of the eyes instead of um, usually, you know, the white. So I decided to go, you know, more natural and just, just go with the white parts of the eyes. Maybe if she turns into just shadow form, which I forgot to do. <laughs> that's a, something I just realized. Uh, Evelyn has a shadow form. Maybe in their shadow form, that's when she kind of really showcases this kind of, you know, like really embraces this rule, uh, dark, dark, uh, black part of her eyes. Um, but yeah, I think the, the makeup is pretty neat here. Familiar. I did not design the familiar of <laughs> Star Nemesis Evelyn. So, um, missed opportunity there again. But anyways, really neat, really, really neat. And I really like the star field, like, um, like pattern and texture, something I wanted to apply. So let's go through this. Here is my final design. Um, probably I took it a little bit further and took the liberty of being making a fan concept. This probably wouldn't make it into the game because of a couple of reasons. I think it's a little bit too um uh, maybe too exposed so um i decided to take a little bit of that risk and personal uh add that personal flavor and you know i think evelyn is all about that so i thought that was appropriate and would make sense to go through it as you see as you can see here again you see uh let me see So you can see this repetitive um, yeah, diamond shape. And this is a diamond shape that I introduced with uh, Star Guardian um, uh, Syndra uh, back when I worked on the second season with Ari as the team leader, the captain of the uh, Star Guardian team. And uh, I worked on a couple of different like star shapes, you know. Um, so looks at the five pointed star, the more bubbly one. So as uh, what you notice is like it's uh, curving outwards, it's more bubbly. Whereas Sentra kind of goes against that and goes inwards. Even though it is it's still a beautiful uh, iconic symbol of a star. There's a bunch of different stars, sh shapes, right? But yeah, it's it shows a, a different sigil, I guess, like 
within the Star Guardian universe. Uh, kind of gives off that uh, characteristics of um, maybe it's a little bit more pointier, sharper, and aggressive. Um, so that that kind of for the Star Nemesis, I think it doubles down, doubled down that kind of motif, uh, which I think is neat. And here I decided to break a little bit of rule. Usually, the star motif, uh, stars, materials. The framing, the gem, the frame material is, um, you know, gold. But here I decided to just go with the like obsidian type of black. Um, anyways, yeah, that's that's more of a nitty gritty type of you know, going into the philosophy of the design. Um, and still the let me see yeah, you can still see like her uh her, her earring uh there's some variety here i decided instead of having the gold on the outside i have it in on the inside uh with the obsidian dark material hard material on the outside that's that's what i personally like to do try to uh, implement something un unexpected, but but done it in a tasteful way. Um, so again, kind of echoing off of the uh, Morgana, uh, you know, design motif, the design language, and also the fiddlesticks. Um, which fiddlesticks, I think, is a fantastic design. I really, really like that. Um, yeah, I had some of the hair have hair highlight, but the hair has that really nice gradient um, blending between different colors. And even the underside of the hair has some of the pop, but without having too many colors all at once happening too much at once. And that that becomes a big distraction. So. Yeah, I kept it, tried, try to keep it as um, natural as I can. Um, in terms of the outfit, I think, yeah, I try to push, uh, make it as appealing as possible and make it like appropriate for the character, like um, have that kind of lingerie type of element to the outfit. And I really like the uh, black and white type of design motif, and I think KDA kind of introduced that, and I, I think that that's done really well. And um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to, uh, since the yeah, Nemesis Morgana also has a strong uh, color motif of black and white, I wanted to use that and keep it keep the uh, focus on the upper half and especially the head area with colors being mostly happening around the head uh, and the hair area, right? And the legs, I kept it pretty simple. Simple, but also interesting enough. Um, a little bit of black and white, but not as much as uh, the upper torso, the top half of the character. Uh, towards the lower half and towards the end um, at the very bottom um, where the shoes are. I exposed a little bit of her skin um, by, by the bottom part. Um, and added some spark you know sparkling like stars at the bottom I, I could have added a little bit of more like blending soft gradient there to make it more um you know feel natural um i thought the ends of the hair was really fun kind of echoing the morgana of you know greens and blues and pinks they're not not exactly the same way um slightly more chaotic way but uh not too evenly done so that's something i think i'm you know uh it was really fun trying to do that i also added like some kind of paint like body paint maybe not a tattoo because 
you know china or certain regions of uh yeah players um it's yeah tattoo is not really allowed um that's and that's something like cultural sensitivity is something to be aware of when you're designing characters something good to know if you are interested in becoming a professional concept artist so yeah this would be really fun imagine if it shifts different colors different gradients of colors i think that would be pretty neat also um you know this kind of gem or whatever this is it kind of looks like it there's a, some dimension to it it's not a flat thing um i thought that would be pretty neat added something that kind of throws off uh the symmetry uh, the symmetry of the legs that's why i added this thin strips of um yes like white uh going across crisscrossing uh to to make it a little a little bit like modernized uh yeah, in terms of the fashion uh but yeah her weapons pretty simple again it's following this language that i highlighted and talked about it uh when showing and analyzing morgana um also this type of yeah color scheme that you saw in Morgana, but it's implemented here. Not exactly the same, but kind of echoing it. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. But overall, I had a lot of fun. I decided to keep her hair pretty wild and um, just make it really fun. Uh, I think there's a bunch of different ways I could have executed this character in terms of the des design but i think yeah i think this is pretty pretty good uh, i'm pretty happy with it so yeah thank you so much and i i will do more of this type of video um it'll come out for patrons uh like a few days earlier and then i'll you know maybe up upload this on youtube um to, to share my knowledge and just talk about it. I, I really like sharing, uh, you know, uh, kind of the philosophy that I, I come up with and kind of the roles that I, I set when I'm uh, creating certain designs. So yeah, uh, more than happy to just uh, do this as many times as I can. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.